Espresso Cat is here again and coffee is damn amazing and I'm here with a new uh, monthly random top list and I'm so sorry for this um, this top list uh, is going to go out very late on the month probably like first yeah uh, mostly it's because I edit the layout and yeah my editing skills are not that great but I was sort of inspired by King Nappy's layout on his top uh, 5 so I did the, like color boxes or whatever as you can see on the screen so yeah this, and this month is of course my favorite top 10 Pokemon yeah Woo! I don't know why I did that another reason why this is late is because I had a pretty pretty hard to figure out my favorite 10 Pokemon I could not do a freaking top 5 list like other people's do because they are so many good Pokemon and Pokemon that I like and uh, another random thing before we start off the uh, top list i i want to say that i'm very thankful for all the new subscribers because i mean uh two months and now uh, or not 29 59 sorry saying the wrong thing uh, about two months and 67 you may not think that is so high race or whatever but i think it's pretty much i mean eight more people that is crazy and they uh, because if you think of it, it's like one person each week <laughs> and yeah I'm not the freaking most talking or outgoing person so it's crazy that 67 uh, people is subbed and follow me so it means a lot to me and I hope you will continue to support me now let's go to the top list and uh, I decided uh, on some choices that I would not include uh, legendaries because they are OP as heck if I would have a legendary it probably would be either Suicune or Kyogre uh, as well uh, as I decided to not include start you're anyway getting a motion band to a starter just because it's the first Pokemon so yeah I feel like nah and uh, also to be fair to each generation I decided uh, or every generation up to generation uh, fifth generation of course not six because I have not played six and we have not seen every freaking Pokemon in generation six we only seen like 2025 and it's probably going to be 130 about probably so and uh, yeah to be fair i decided to have two of each and uh, as i decided to have two uh, pokemon of each generation and remember this is my top list and my options and my favorites if you respect my uh, choice I'll always respect yours so to start off with the list we have the mysterious mysterious on top 10 yeah or on spot 10 I don't know I I really like um, mysterious design and how it looks and she's cute but at the same time she can be pretty nasty and evil I think Mysterious can learn like nasty plot also so she's like that's pretty interesting combination of personality or whatever and it's one of my favorite uh, Johto uh, Pokemon from Johto it's the first uh, pure ghost and yeah it's my favorite ghost I'm sorry Nappy no Gengar because I always like I mean Gengar he just looks creepy to me Mysterious just looks cute and evil at the same time so. and you may wondering why I don't put Miss Magius 
but that is what uh, because I like Miss Dreavis design more as well she's small but not too bad for being uh, on the vault and but I uh, miss Maggie's it's not the, the worst of like uh, evolve of all Pokemon which I'm going to come back on this list we are probably going to rant a little bit about, but number nine, we uh, find the first Unova Pokemon on the list. It's Archeops. The first uh, first time I did see Archeops, I liked it immediately. I used it in my first uh, Black playthrough, and uh, I thought of giving it up uh, since it has. Uh, pretty low uh, defense, but I could not because I got pretty emotionally attached or whatever. That sounds weird uh, to Pokemon, but yeah, and I call it Arkia and it become one of my highest level uh, or my highest level on black. 87, I actually never raised one to 100 because it's just too much grinding and whatever need to go through elite for so many times but now it's a little bit easier to get up to the high level and he's my favorite uh, fossil po pokemon his ability is pretty bad i know defendant or what the freak is called but still he's damn uh, cool he's like unique and one of a kind he's a it's a mix of a bird and a lizard and looks uh, somewhat like uh, one of those, I don't know if it was a dinosaur or if it was just, uh, maybe it was some sort of dinosaur, I don't know, uh, which I've seen uh, almost like Aerodactyl as well. Uh, but I think I like Archeops, yeah I like Archeops more because yeah, of that mix of bird and lizard, and uh, that it is very that uh, he is or the bird is a very colorful bird, and it's also cool because uh, Archeops can learn many cool uh, teams like Shadow Claw, uh, many Dragon Attack, U Turn, and even Focus Blast. So that is just oh amazing, and on each place. When I did my first uh, let's play, it was a pretty well a bad one, but I did it on Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Pearl. Yeah, let's play on YouTube, of course. I don't know if you should, if you're saying let's play, if you're just doing a playthrough, probably not. Unfortunately and sadly, I could not get the one Pokemon I liked directly. <sighs> Because he was only in freaking diamond. He's maybe in platinum also, I don't know. That sucks. Skunky is so cute. And Skunk Tank is a freaking cool mother freaker. And my... He's pretty good all round. And pretty tanky. And pretty good attack he has as well. And I think it's a little bit over underrated in my opinion. And uh, yeah, f I thought about it uh, today, and I think that uh, Skunk Tech is a little bit overshadowed of uh, Drapion since they are the same types. So I don't know. Uh, maybe people like Scorpions more than a freaking Skunk, but <laughs> I like that he's a Skunk. I mean, he's a freaking one of kind. Not to say that Drapion is not one of kind, but. Like uh, Skunk Tank's this, uh, design and colors more. I mean, who doesn't want to have a dark poison type that is a skunk? Freaking evil, nasty, and smells terrible. I don't know. So, uh, in place, we have a favorite, favorite of mine. This is maybe not because it is one of the best Pokemon or whatever. But uh, I had uh, this Pokemon as a, this, do you call it stuffed, no, not stuffed animal, but like, uh, yeah, whatever, I don't know what it's called, but like, uh, god damn it, but like a doll or whatever, not, not a doll, I don't know what it's called. And uh, when I was little, about seven, 
eight nine I was like sleeping with those and I freaking love that uh, yeah it's Psyduck I freaking love that Psyduck and it got like I really don't know where I have it now but uh, it got like all uh, dusty and everything <laughs> so yeah and uh, I freaking love uh, Mr. Psyduck in the enemy and I freaking like Psyduck just because he's like misunderstanded uh, and I feel like I was sort of misunderstood uh, uh, when I was younger so yeah that's probably why and yeah I just like him and I really not get that close bond to Golduck. I mean Golduck is better but uh, Psyduck is just he's cool and he has swag also <laughs> swag duck uh, so and I actually uh, used the Psyduck in my scarred gold uh, when I, uh, I went through it to try the new sort of Nuzlocke I'm doing uh, so yeah uh, and um, I got it up to Golduck and he was the only surviving of my team so that is also a reason why but Golduck is just Psyduck is cooler and I, th I should do that sometimes I should do a solo run with uh, Psyduck because I mean that would be very interesting and he's actually not too bad as it, I mean he doesn't have the best of defense I believe but he can like learn psychic attack and water attacks so at number six we have uh, Weenwile the best one of the best evolution of old Pokemon and now I'll come back to this with the evolution of old Pokemon generation four I personally think uh, got way overboard with evolution of old Pokemon like uh, evolution of uh, Magmar, Magmortar, Electrobus, uh, Electrovire, I don't like any of these, uh, those, uh, more is it, yes. and then they have many freaking baby Pokemon, so yeah, they screwed up the original ones. And I thought that like Magmar and uh, Electra Bus, I mean they are not bad Pokemon so they really do not need it in evolution. I only see that evolution is good for like uh, when a Pokemon is really bad or they turn out to be really cool looking and Sneasel really needed an evolution and uh, yeah, they did some right in uh, Generation 4. Uh, and uh, its evolution look uh, both cooler and stronger than Sneasel. And it's freaking dark and ice type. And yeah, so freaking cool. It's like cat looking, but not really a cat. But yeah, how can you not like it? And now we comes up to the big five, yay! And on fifth spot we find the one and only Super Beast Bear Chick. His design is really cool. I mean the freaking polar bear, that is just brilliant. And cub shoe, freaking adorable and cute. So I love both, like, uh, of in the evolution family. Uh, I love beard tick. Uh, it's freaking ice beard is so funny and cool and he's just such a beast offensively. I think he's pretty good defensively as well. The only really negative about him is that he's goddamn slow. But I mean you can put a quick claw on him and he works too so yeah. And of course I used him in my first uh, black playthrough as well. Here on uh, four place uh, four we have the my favorite EV evolution Umbreon you may uh, surprise somebody 
I like Joltium, but I, like, I must say that Umbreon is cooler because it's freaking dark type. It looks freaking mean, mean, uh, badass. I don't know. I maybe I repeat some of the words, and uh, he looks like a dude you don't want to mess with. And I've actually only used him in one let's play. In a flora scout, uh, his moves are not the best, but he's or she, I don't know what to say, he's a goddamn tank. So, yeah, and there are not that many uh, defensive dark. I mean, skunk tank is pretty defensive, but like as high defense as Umbria. So, yeah, he's cool. And at number three, we find a freaking Old school Pokemon first gen, and I've used I probably used this many times, like the most times if you don't count starters. I probably used this uh, one of the most times, and it's freaking Gyarados. That is the definition of a beast. If you would freaking have a Pokemon word book and you would uh, like look up. Uh, Gyarados, then it would say mean fucking beast. Uh, so I was swearing, but I mean, it's so cool. And that's like Magikarp, that freaking useful, useless fish turning out to such a freaking. So, yeah, I always liked Gyarados, and he's so cool. The only thing is that he's not uh, dragon type. Because, like, they had a reason before in Generation 1, but now they don't really have a, a reason why he should not be Dragon. Because, I mean, Kingdra is freaking Dragon, so why can't he be Dragon, I mean? And isn't it an... I don't know if it is another Water Dragon. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know. So, yeah. And it takes some effort to freaking level up a magic card. When but when you get a Gyarados, you know that you are going to run smooth, as long as you don't get the freaking, <laughs> as long as you watch out for electric attacks. So yeah, and runner up we find the unique uh, Medicham. I love the the typing of Psychic and Fighting. Even if Dark is my favorite uh, type, I think Psychic and Fighting is my favorite uh, type combination. First uh, time I saw uh, Medicham, I really liked it. And Medicham is just so cool Pokemon and so interesting of its typing. It's also uh, one of the most underrated Pokemon in uh, my opinion. It should be used more. I've seen it a little bit more now than when I started YouTube. Yeah, I think it's many just look at it and think it's not that good. But uh, my Magic Champ in Sapphire is called now called. I need to check that out because I forgot. I'm going to because I did not have a nickname when I started it. Unfortunately. I could not got, uh, get Medichamp until Victory Road. Or I could get uh, Meditite. I don't know how I did with that uh, Meditite at Ma Mont Mortar. But that is pretty bad uh, or pretty sad in Sapphire. That you need to wait so long to get it. Uh, but I really want to use a uh, freaking Medichamp uh, uh, sometimes in the beginning. Or sometimes in the future, I mean. And at final number uno, number one, number eight, the best, my beloved Pokemon. Uh, I probably, you probably could have seen uh, this uh, coming if you have been subscribed to me a long time uh, from my first channel, uh, Yakke783. And uh, my favorite Pokemon, my favorite Pokemon is Absol. He's so amazingly cool and badass. It's description in the Pokedex is the f fucking disaster Pokemon. Not not fucking, but disaster Pokemon. And he's so mysterious. He will, he's like rare, uh, at least uh, in uh, 
Ferdian. Uh, you can like only get them after Fortress City. So yeah, I always thought that that was cool when I first played Ruby and Sapphire. That just oh this Pokemon you can only get them there. I need to get this. <laughs> so yeah. And I know he's not the strongest Pokemon out there, but I don't care. And if they would make an absolute ever evolution, I'm a little bit torn if I want to see it. I guess if it looks good, uh, I would accept it, but I think still absolute would be my favorite. Because you can't beat the original one. And... Uh, so uh, I'm mostly against evolution of Pokemon. Said before, I don't know why I repeated myself there, but yeah. So there you have the top list, and if you want, you can post it in the comments or as a video response. Your favorite top ten, or your favorite five, or your favorite six. I don't know. Uh, Pokemon. So yeah, feel free to do that, and. We are going to end off here and in the next uh, month we are going to, uh, it's going to be my favorite football manager, uh, football manager series games. If you don't know what that is, that is a simulator where you play as a football trainer or football manager. So yeah, maybe not that interesting for everyone to see, but I think it will be fun so yeah and I think I'm going to do a Pokemon uh, top list I don't I don't know why I got blank there uh, uh, third 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 uh, month each third month so like uh, Pokemon uh, uh, one other random uh, top list uh, another random top list and then Pokemon again so and the next Pokemon top will will be in let's see here, October or I don't know maybe I should do it again like just one uh, uh, yeah you can tell me in the comments how do you want me to do but I'm probably going to do other top list as well yes because at least but I think it's fun, even if the main uh, <laughs> public is not interesting. I think it's cool to list stuff you like and such. So, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I see you soon again. So, bye!